ಮಹಾದೇವ್ಯ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಸಂಪ್ರದಾಯ ಕರ್ತೃಭ್ಯ ವಂಶ ಋಷಭ್ಯ ಮಹದ್ಭ್ಯ ನಮೋ ಗುರುಭ್ಯ ಸರ್ವೋಪ್ಲವರಹಿತ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾನ ಘಣ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಗರ್ಥೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಸೋಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹಮಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ಪ್ರಪನ್ನ ಪಾರಿಜಾತ ಯೋತ್ರ ವೇತ್ರೈಕ ಪಾಣೇ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಮುದ್ರಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗೀತಾ ಮೃತದುಹೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶಾಯ ಮೈ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಆಶೀರ್ವಾದ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ವಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಚಾನಲ್ ಮೇ ದ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಟಿ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಬೆಸ್ಟೋ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ರಾಸ್ಪರಿಟಿ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಟರ್ನಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಪರಿಪೂರ್ಣ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಕಟಾಕ್ಷಂ ಟು ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಂಥಾಯರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ಭಗವದ್ಗೀತಾ ವರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ತ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಉಚ ಸರ್ವೂತಸ್ಥಿತ ಯೋ ಮಾಂ ಭಜತ್ಯೇಕಸ್ಥಿತ ವರ್ತಮಾನೋಪಿ ಸಯೋಗೀ ಮಯಿ ವರ್ತತೆ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಯೋಜನ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಬೈ ಅಸಿಮ್ಯುಲೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದಟ್ ಬೈ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೋಗ ದೇವರ್ ಟೂ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ವಸಿಷ್ಠ ಸೇಸ್ there are two kinds of means to seize all the thoughts by knowledge and yoga yoga means abhyasa by meditation knowledge means karma yoga jnana yoga now here the tatumasi padam has been brought in order to understand the benefit of the shastra now in these three verses now three verses one more verse is added in order to define in order to explain the asi padarth tat means jagad and ishvara tum means the jiva and individual consciousness called atma jagat and brahman jiva and atma atma which is experienced as an individual body mind and sense complex and the ishvara who is experienced not experienced understood as the five elemental world as the creator of the world so these two aspects becomes clear to the meditator the meditator who is also loaded with or informed with the knowledge of shastra now this two clarity will take or will give the qualification in order to understand one more understand the life gets completed only if you have that understanding this understanding is not at even introduced or even discussed in our educational system or so sad to say that this understanding everything lies in the buddhi but it is about entire creation including our individual system every individual system is called the world the world exists everything now what we experience we think that only we do experience it like the sleep when you experience the sleep that belongs to only your experience isn't it and you can you say how the experience of sleep of others would be see other people also will sleep they also have the experience now their sleep experience how it would be can you define you may not sure but you can assume yes whatever that i experience same thing they will experience because all the things are similar hunger thirst and not only that even krodha desire karma jealousy and all hatred pain and pleasure so the expression may vary among the people but all the impacts are the same somewhere we are missing to understand the beings how it has to be understood therefore all the failures and success they bother us this proper understanding through shastra it looks like a boring job why should i study bhagavad gita first of all 
The meditation, it looks very good because it brings the peace of the mind. So when you are peace in your, yourself, you love it very much. But normal meditation which is not loaded, which is not been endowed with the Shastra Jnanam, it will be broken or it will be scattered even by a single bit of, of sad full experiences or emotional things. It will smash like anything. Now the life completes only certain kind of understanding. That understanding, we don't call it understanding. Understanding means you understand some maths, you understand something to be uh, endowed with worldly things. Understanding about the object other than you, but here understanding about everything called a realization. Realization of the proper self as the individual consciousness, as an imperishable consciousness, as the witness, as the witness of day by day, month by month, year by year, birth by birth, death and death to death. What I mean to say, if I witness myself as the dreamer, as the sleeper, as the waker, the consciousness being as a witness. So that is the self-understanding. And understanding about the world, the world, the God is not seen. The physical eyes are not capable to see the cause of the world. The cause of the world exists in the world itself. Because everything came from that consciousness alone. This understanding, we need to have 12 more chapters. I think Bhagavan is bringing here to conclude the chapter. Because they were in the battlefield, Bhagavan wants to clear, complete, so that he could fight. Therefore, he wanted to complete here. These three shlokas must be kept in the 18th chapter. In the 18th chapter also, there are similar shlokas we can find to these three, four shlokas alone. In fact, this 30th verse alone defined as the next 6th chapter called Dvitiya Shatkam. 7 to 12 chapter, they deal the subject matter of the world and Ishwara. There we will learn what exactly the world is. If you want to understand about the world, you have to be understood by what is the creation is. Without defining what exactly creation, you cannot understand what the world is. Without understanding the world, you cannot understand the author of the world, the creator of the world. Now God is to be realized, understood as the creator of the world. As the sustainer of the world. And as a person who destroys the world. Now that is far away from our mind, but still Bhagavan brings. So this, the meditator who is absorbed by those things. Maybe shortly he have told already, he will elaborate later. Because this individual cannot be discussed without accompanying the thoughts of the world. We have to inform the details from the world because individual consciousness, we alone feel that I am alone, I am separate from the world. But truthfully speaking, we are not alone. We are not a separate system. We are the system, means we have the system which is a part of the creation. I am not being away from creation. I am also into the creation. Therefore, this verse, which, you know, verse number 31 talks about the final stage of understanding. First the realization of self, then the realization of Ishwara and world. Finally, the equation between me and Ishwara, known as Asi Padartha Visheshaha. That's what Acharya continues here. Evam tam padartham tat padartham cha shuddham nirupya tattvam asiti vakyartham nirupayati sarveshu bhauteshu adhishthana tayasthitam Sarvanusyotam sanmatram maam ishwaram tad pada lakshyam svena tvam pada lakshyana 
सह एक अत्यंत अभेदम आस्थित घटाकाशो महाकाश इति अत्र एव उपाधि भेद निराकरणेन निश्चिन्वन्न यह भजति अहम ब्रह्मास्मेति वेदांतवाक्यजेन तत्व साक्षात्कारणेन अपरोक्षी करोति सह अविद्या तत्कार्य निवृत्या जीवन मुक्ता कृतकृत्या हा ये वो भावती। Now he brings, so once the meditator is being absorbed by individual and total consciousness, finally he will have the realization about the equations. That's what he said. Yaha, the person who maam sarva bhota sthitam maam who could meditate or who could dwell me who is existing in all the being ekatvam asthitaha so he could identify me as his own swarupa now the consciousness there are so many consciousness everybody has the consciousness now if you could identify your consciousness with all the consciousness at least you could understand all the consciousness are the same though we are not able to get the gross experience about those consciousness is nothing but my consciousness but buddhya in the buddhi in the intellect we can realize yes so it is possible all the consciousness are one and the same. Ekatvam asthitaha. So being with oneness, with all the consciousness, one who worships me, sarvatha vartamano api sayogi mahi vartate. He may be in whatever the form, whatever that he does or he is doing doesn't matter. He is in me, known as Jeevan Mukta. This Jeevan Mukta Avastha means what? Because the Shastra Jnanam will bring the supreme destination called Moksha. Moksha is the supreme goal. That Moksha is defined as two kind. Moksha means freedom. The freedom while living itself, already he mentioned. Because when you observe yourself, if I repeat again and again, again and again, you may get confused because all the sentence they look similar. You also feel sometimes why Swamiji is repeating so many times, hundred of times, becoming one with, being absorbed, and becoming identifying. Uh, with all the consciousness, these words, because words are limited. We have to use the same words to get more understanding. So whenever I repeat the same thing, it is to understand better than before. Becoming one with means what? Identifying with all consciousness. Okay, that's what he says. Sarvata Vartamanopi means while living itself, he could attain the liberation, Mokshaha, Jeevan Mukti. That Jeevan Mukti means a completely liberated person while living itself. He could see himself out of all the karma pillars. The world cannot bother him. His prarabdha cannot bother him. He becomes like the author of the world. It's a beautiful explanation given by our Shastra. So we have far time and long time to understand it, a long way to reach that place. But Bhagavan Krishna now itself he brings this sloka alone thought are explained in the sixth chapter, means in the Tritya Shatkam from the chapter 13 to 18. Especially 13th chapter itself it deals with exactly excellently this content things okay sayogi mahi vartate he could realize me in him the next words atma upamyena sarvatra samam pasyati yorjunam sukham vayadiva dukham 
sayogi param o mataha. As a final stage, jivan muktasya, final stage, jivan muktaha means completely liberated, that liberated person who could see all the consciousness, all the being in him. Atma pamyena, sarvatra atma pamyena. Samam Pashyati, he could see all being in him. For him, there is only Advaita. Advaita means Ekatvam, oneness, non-duality. No, the mind may go out, the mind may have interaction with the world, Buddhi may make a decision, but his understanding, the realization which makes him to be endowed with that Brahman alone. Because the world is full of happiness and sorrows, the event come and go. So many events come and go. But for him, he is endowed with the Advaitam Satyam. That's what he says, Ghatakasho Mahakasaityeva Upadhi Bheda Nirakaranena because he could see Ishwara in him as the consciousness. The word creation can be felt as perishable things. Because when you take a pot, small pot, and keep the pot upside down, now there is a space, that space, and there is a space outside. What is the difference between these two spaces? It is known as Ghatta Kas. So this example, so bear with me, it's uh, too much uh, for the time being because after completing sixth chapter itself, it's very difficult. But there is an example from Shastra. Ghatta Kasa means the space which exists in the mud or some pot. Okay. Now, if the pot is broken, the space becomes one with the collective space. Is it so? Or the part never able to separate the space, which is true. The space which remains, is it limited? In the same way, the consciousness which remains in us, it is not limited by this body, mind and sense complex. Because the consciousness is everywhere all pervasive. That pervades in me. That's what the example given here, and you're not to get confused. But you can say that that person gets Jivan Mukti, then also he gets Videha Mukti. Videha Mukti means uh, he once he is leaving the Sharira, he dies, he won't be born again. He will become one with how the pot is broken, the space becomes one with the space because the space already was one with the space within the pot but it is not understood by the people but Brahma Jnani who understands the reality he becomes bliss this equation part is so difficult so difficult means we need to be informed gradually step by step step by step now he says this is the prayojanam by a meditator who could experience, who could experience means not as the worldly experience, the mind becomes, buddhi becomes very peace and quiet. He may be endowed with war. He may be endowed with lots of business. He may rule the countries. Doesn't matter. He doesn't do anything. Naiva kinchit karomiti tattva vittu Manyate. So for him, he doesn't do anything. For him, there is no past, present, future. For him, there is no limitation. Now Arjuna again he brings, Oh my God, Krishna, everything went on ahead. Because Prayojana, when you said in the normal language, I was able to understand a little bit, okay, Chalega, this belongs to me now. When you technically, traditionally, you explain the benefits by four shlokas, totally it went on my head. That's what it seems to be by his question. Let us read it. 
अर्जुन उवाच यो यम योगस्वया प्रोक्त साम्येन मधुसूदन ये तस्याहम न पश्यामि चंचल स्थिति स्थिरा चंचल हि मन कृष्ण प्रमाथिबलवृम तस्याहम निग्रह मे वायोरिव सुदुष्क अर्जुन अस असेड हे कृष्ण वॉट एवर दैट यू थोल्ड दैट टू विथ इक्वेशन इक्वेशन विथ ब्रह्मांड आत्मा आई डोंट फाइंड एनीथिंग आई एम नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड एनीथिंग इज इट रियल आर नॉट नो आई एम मेकिंग लिल बिटा मोर लिक्विड टू अंडरस्टैंड You see by understanding Ishwara in the world, I am not able to see. I think my mind is not prepared for that. I mean, I think my mind is not uh, well trained. Maybe it is fluctuated. He himself says, "Chanchalatvat, sthitim sthiram." So that the condition of our, my mind is fluctuated completely. i am not able to digest the benefit what you say then he himself continues you know the mind is always corrupted corrupted means chanchalam hi the nature of the mind is to fluctuate alone the statement from arjuna pramathi balavadrudham it collapses tasya aham वायोरिव सुदुष्क निग्रह मे ई फील वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट यू नो कैचिंग द एयर इज सो डिफिकल्ट बिकॉज इट्स इट वोट कम इन आवर हैंड लाइक दट मैंड इज सो सटल एंड सो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एंटिटी आई एम नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल इट आई एम नॉट एबल टू कंट्रोल इट आई एम नॉट एबल टू ब्रिंग इट फॉर द राइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग वॉट यू टॉट so you are teaching sometimes i feel yes i am understanding sometimes i feel something is going beyond my head maybe a lack of concentration maybe lack of the capacity in our mind so with this the mind which is like a handicap what can i do chanchalam manah chanchalam hi manah krishna the mind is endowed with complete fluctuation not having stability he himself he brings the question but now this chanchalam which he talks about it was not there in the first chapter first chapter also he was filled with emotions the mind was totally lost now he could see the mind is fluctuated now he is little bit restrained means little bit the capable person to understand yes my mind is fluctuating because i am not able to sit for the meditation you say samam kaya shiro grivam dharayanna chalam sthirah samprekshanasika gram swam disachana valokayann Prasanta mana samkhena. I am not able to. You say said without a moment. I am not able to. Because mind, when it is keep on wandering, how can you sit? Because mind travels without the tickets, even to London, Tokyo, Paris, or Himalayas. Whatever the recollections are there in mind, it will jump just. with this incapable of mind are incapable mind what can i do with the shastra gyanam and the gyanam also so subtle no emotional package like a movie movie is endowed with so many emotional things you know hero comes villain comes all the villain always does bad things hero always he do good things nowadays hero becomes anti hero anti hero is also worshiped this you know it's the less viveka because of 
lacking of viveka puranas are the beautiful stories and in the purana you will get all the teachings what you need for your life now bhagavan shri bhagavan uvacha asamshayam mahabaho mano durnigraham chalam abhyasena tu kaunteya vairagyena cha grihyate yes of course yes of course no doubt arjuna no doubt yes of course mind is the fluctuating object alone and that i accept is very difficult to bring in the control asamshayam mahabaho mano durnigraham chalam so mind which is fluctuated always but the self effort उद्धरेद आत्मनात्मासाद आत्म्यात्म बंधु आत्म पुरात्म बंधुरात्मात्मस्तनात्मत्म आजि अनात्मनस्तु शत्रुत्वे वर्तयतात्म शत्रुवत् जितात्म प्रशात परमात्मा समाहिता हा ब्यूटीफुली टोल्ड इज़ इट देयर ही सेस द माइंड विच इज़ ट्रेन्ड इट बिकम्स फ्रेंड टू यू द माइंड विच इज़ नॉट ट्रेन्ड इट इज़ द ग्रेट एनिमी इन योर लाइफ बिकॉज़ एवरी वन ऑफ़ अस आफ्टर गेटिंग अप इन द मॉर्निंग वी हैव अ चैलेंज टू फेस आर माइंड बट वी प्लान हाउ टू no my dear you have to face your mind first that is the challenging job because you cannot hide from your mind and mind is completely depend on depended on the sensory organs the sense organs they are limited therefore with limited knowledge mind always pushes outside and it pulls outside all of our attraction attention also is drive driven that's what abhyasena tu kaunteya vairagyena cha grahyate by continuous practice abhyasa yoga abhyasa vairagya means that is maturity complete maturity with vairagya and abhyasa so you can handle it you can bring it in your control these these two words abhyasa and vairagya is a great words there are so many explanation about these two words even by patanjali even by ramanuja adi shankara madhvacharya every acharya discuss about these two words abhyasa and vairagya so next words we will continue tomorrow in the next episode hari hi om पूर्णमद पूर्णमीद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्यते पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओ शाति 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 हरि ओ श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओ